I am leading the technical coordination uh, team of Aquina Research Center, and we have we are responsible uh, for the technical coordination of STA3. Uh, so uh, this is uh, we have been asked to uh, make a presentation about the uh, technical coordination and um, how this uh, was done uh, during and is still done during STA3. Uh, so our focus today is to show you uh, how we could help you uh, for your journey uh, through eBrains and of course why we need also your help. So we could say that this is the official description of uh, SCA3, the GRAD agreement. Uh, so the technical coordination is a new role in the last uh, phase of uh, a human brain project. Uh, it is uh, responsible for the planning, coordination, and implementa implementation. Ah, okay. Okay, I suppose it's fine. Uh, for the planning, coordination, and implementation, and uh, it uh, it sets out the rules of, for the software quality of. Uh, the STA3, and it is uh, responsible also for the architectural design and the components integration. Now, uh, why we should have this uh, eBrains uh, technical coordination for the last phase of Human Brain Project? The, at the beginning of Human Brain Project, uh, we had many research teams. We had a really important research done but all these results were mainly independent. There were no collaboration between the different tools and services. And uh, so at the beginning of the last phase, STA3 is the last phase of uh, Human Brain Project. At the beginning of STA3, we had a lot of components, a lot of tools, a lot of services, but no connection between them. So our first work for SCA3 was the creation of a catalog with all the components of Brains Array in order to know how many components we have, what type of tools we have, what type of services, and how we can connect all of them. How we did this, and we are still doing this mission. Uh, we have created some working groups. We have a working group for the software quality rules, uh, one for the software delivery rules, uh, one working group uh, for the architecture, and uh, we have also uh, a security working group and uh, uh, also an APIs working group. All these working groups are formed for 10 to 5 uh, members of Brains and uh, their main work is to find uh, some rules and some guidelines in order to help the Brains, the Human Brain Project partners to, uh, to give uh, their components all the necessary information in order to be integrated in Brains. We have created some guidelines and uh, some documentation. Uh, it is included in uh, eBrains platform and it is open to all eBrains members. We yeah, have. The support, the support team. Um, the data creation? They, they? Sorry? Are you talking about the support team? No, it's not. It's not the support team. Uh, if uh, there is an issue for the support team and uh, it is relevant to uh, technical coordination, of course, <laughs> this issue is sent to us. Uh, but this is guidelines and documentation available in the collab of uh, technical coordination in the Brains uh, platform. For the implementation of service. Uh, for the implementation of services, for the integration of the different services, and also for other um, uh, for other issues like um, the details about the architecture, uh, the design of the architecture, or uh, the workflows. I will present uh, some issues at the, uh, the next slide. So we have also some co-design processes, uh, and we are collaborating with the component owners, the use cases, and of course, the scientific work packages. We have created a roadmap from the beginning, and it is adapted periodically. And we have, we are collaborating with the different human brain project bodies. You can see here, we are the technical coordination 
of course, we put ourselves in the, at the center of the image. And uh, we have the TC weeklies. I will present them the TC weeklies. It's a, 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 a weekly meeting. Uh, we have the different bodies of, uh, of Human Brain Project. HLST is the support uh, body. SLU, Scientific Liaison Unit. Service categories for the different services we have available. The HBC centers, the working groups uh, we created, the brains central coordination, and of course, the SIP with the scientists of the brains. All this together, uh, we are trying to coordinate these huge things that is the Human Brain Project. Our part is the technical part. We have, of course, the scientific part, the dissemination part, and all this stuff is the project as it is right now. The TC Weeklies. The TC Weeklies is a, a weekly meeting open to all the members of uh, Human Brain Project. Uh, the, we have a GitLab carbon board for the different issues. We have many issues, 90 issues are already closed, 15 are in progress. We have many, more than 25, I think now is more than 30 open issues. And at the end of um, TC Weekly, we have uh, presentations or Q&A section, and we have also some recordings that are also available in eBrains platform for all eBrains members. They are like uh, webinars, we could say. Uh, for the TC Weekly, we can go on in the general TC activity. As TC, we have uh, the TCTF, it's a meeting about TC planning. We have participated in, in many meetings with component owners and the different uh, human brain project bodies. We have, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> we have participated in many ad hoc meetings and presentation. We are trying to participate in every eBrains event in order to explain and present our work and uh, help the rest of the consortium familiarize with our uh, work and the different tools in the workshops and educational events. And of course, <coughs> as I said before, sorry. <coughs> As I said before, we have al already created some documentation and guidelines and some processes that are fully available and explained in TC uh, Collab. One of our main work is the design of the architecture. This is a simplified diagram. Uh, we, we created this diagram without uh, many technical details in order to have uh, all the information for a new user. Uh, the target group here is the new user who, ah, thank you very much, who is trying to understand how the brain's platform is working, and uh, w but not from the technical point of view. We have included in this diagram whatever is available right now, uh, whatever is planned for the future, and we have tried also to uh, to include the different uh, bodies and uh, uh, support teams of eBrains. So a new user who is not familiar with the brains from this diagram, we hope at least that he can understand what the brains platform will be in the future. Right. Yes, uh, we could say that this can be the clients of the platform. This is the main platform. This is more or less the clients of the platform, let's say. It's not the correct term, but okay. It's. Yes, they will pay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, not the, the research institutes and the universities, no. But the industry, we hope that they will use it braids, but yeah, of course, uh, with payment. Uh, so the main part is the platform. These are more or less the clients, and these are the different bodies and communities related to the platform. Uh, of course, we have many architectural designs, more detailed from the technical point of view, but this is a general one, and um, uh, we, we, are try, we try to, to include all the information available. Not the technical information, the rest of it. 
Now, uh, is there, okay, I can go with. Okay, now, as I said before, at the beginning of SGA3, we had a lot of components, many interesting tools, many interesting services, but no connection between them. So, we tried to find a way to provide some guidelines in order to integrate all of them in the platform. And when I say integrate, I mean the technical integration of them in order to find a way for all these components to collaborate. So we started from the phase one. The phase one was the first phase of integration where we created the first guidelines for integration and we choose four components mature enough in order to be the first components that will participate in the process. Uh, the output of this phase was a really good one. So we went to the phase two of integration. The four components of phase one continue their journey to phase two, but we have 20 uh, uh, more components participating in it. Again, we have updated the guidelines. We have created some new tools for the integration. We have provided the functionality of workflows. I will explain later about it. And we have started to work on provenance of all this stuff. Now, we are in phase three. We have all the components of the uh, first two phases participating also in phase three. We have uh, 16 new components for now added to them. And every three, four months, we have new components participating in the process. Uh, we, we are doing some testing also. Uh, for the uh, components already integrated. And our plan is that by the end of phase three, we will have all the components that, the components that want to be part of this process, of course, we will have all the components integrated in Brain's platform. The phase four is the final phase, just before the conclusion of the project, where we will have the finalization of the process and the brains platform and of course uh, uh, somehow we will prepare the platform for the next phase the next projects uh, in which we'll be part of it this is yeah okay can go on with uh, let me show this one uh, so uh, when the phase two uh, has, has been concluded, we have tried to assess the different components. We uh, have created some progress indicators in order to check the progress of the components and uh, also uh, have some information about the next phase uh, in order to adapt the guidelines. So our results were really promising. Uh, most of the components uh, did a great job during their assessment. And uh, 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 we have um, we have also for now for phase three, we have some new progress indicators, but also we use also these ones in order to be sure that for the important part of the integration process, all the components will be uh, will uh, will be part of it and do and have some great results. So, for example, I can uh, go through not all of them, but the the, the licensing part. Uh, in the guidelines, uh, we we said that uh, all the the components should have should already have an open license in order to uh, for the components to be part of the brains. Even the components that didn't have a license at the beginning or have a different one, they have chosen the right one. And now at the end of phase two, uh, all the components participating in this phase had the right license in order to be part of uh, eBrain's platform. The rest of the progress indicators are more or less the same uh, nature. 
So this is for the integration process. Marisa, you have a question? Or? <laughs> okay. Uh, let me go on with the workflows then. Our other focus, we started this work during phase uh, uh, two, at the end of phase two, and uh, now is one of our is is the focus of our work currently, uh, along with the integration, are the workflows. So uh, we need the the scientific workflows to be part of your brains. And there were some tools available in the Brains platform, and the scientists uh, uh, were using these tools in order to create uh, their workflows. So there were some tools for collaboration between the scientists, there were some documentation for uh, uh, the workflows, and uh, also uh, some services for data sharing or code sharing. But we, are, we had some limitations. We didn't have tools for reproducibility or shareability. We did have some problems with portability and fightability of uh, workflows. Uh, so uh, what we decided is that we should have a standard, a standard uh, language, uh, a standard way to present and export, if possible, the different workflows. We choose for this the uh, CWL, the Common Workflow Language. It is open, it is a standard format. We can use it in order uh, to create the different workflows. We can use it not only to uh, create the, work, so the workflows in the framework of the brains, but we can have these workflows in other platforms as well that are CWL compatible. And we tried, since once we decided that the CWL is probably the solution to our problems, we have tried to familiarize the different, the, the members of the brains, not only uh, the, uh, uh, not only the developers, but also and the scientists, but also the showcases of uh, e brains and in general all the members of uh, the platform to familiarize them in order to use CWL and also to add to the platform the different tools that are necessary for CWL. During our work then, we have uh, tried to add the graphical interface and uh, uh, some easy to use editors for into the brains platform in order for the scientists to use them for the workflows creation. Uh, with the CWL, the workflows created can be executed, uh, of course, uh, on the brains infrastructure, but they can also be extracted and executed on other platforms that are CWL compatible. And we have uh, also uh, tried, this is a work in progress, uh, to adapt the different services of the brains in order to collaborate and to be compatible uh, with CWL. Uh, the main example of it is a knowledge graph. It's a, a, a registry of for a brains platform. And uh, there you can find in the future not only data sets or uh, uh, software or the things that or the things the different things that are already uh, available, but also there will be uh, uh, th this is will be a registry also for the different workflows. So, what about the end of SGA three? Uh, at the end of SGA3, the uh, eBrains RI, the platform created in the framework of Human Brain Project, will be operated by eBrains AISBL. And uh, also, the different national nodes will be participating. Stephen made a relevant presentation this morning. Uh, uh, the eBrains RI is already accepted by ISFRI. And also, there are many European research projects that have already started or that uh, are expected to start in the following months that are using eBrains RI 
and uh, wants to enrich the platform and uh, also be part of this eBrains ecosystem. What was and is our role for the eBrains array? Uh, we uh, are trying to create a platform, not just a catalog of tools, that was until now, uh, with a single entry point for the different services that the Brains Array offers. Uh, we tried very much, and we are still trying in collaboration with SLU and uh, HLSD for uh, uh, closer collaboration between scientific and technical work packages. Uh, because uh, in the previous phases of the Human Brain Project, there was a lot of work done, but separately. And uh, we, we are closely collabor collaborating also with the different showcases of uh, Human Brain Project in order to be sure that these showcases will use the different tools already available in the platform. And of course, if they need another tool or another way of using the already available tools, we are here to help them towards this uh, direction. So what is next and why we need you as new or old members of the platform? We need more use cases. We need different type of users. Uh, and uh, also uh, small, not very important or uh, I don't know, very uh, impressive use cases. We need small use cases in order to know uh, what are the real needs of the uh, different type of users and in order to extract the, uh, the, the different requirements of the users. Uh, we, we want to show to uh, the community, not only inside but also outside the brains, uh, that research activity becomes easier and quicker with the brains platform, that they should use the platform not just some tools in general, the platforms as a whole. And uh, we have, we, we need to be, to, to be sure that the user experience of uh, the user of the Brains platform will be a good one. We don't want, we have uh, excellent tools, okay, but uh, we want all, all these tools be easy to use for the user. Also for the new user who uh, doesn't know what should uh, should do in this platform, we, we, we need to be sure that this will be easy for him. And of course, we, we should be, uh, we, we, we should have a platform with uh, workflows that will be available also outside the platform, also be members of, uh, be part of new scientific papers of a new uh, work of different research teams. And um, uh, these are also smaller workflows that can be part of bigger ones. And of course, in general, we want to, we want to have a platform for the users. So any, uh, uh, I don't know, any comment or any suggestion or, or any remark that uh, a new user has from this platform is really important to us. So this is our mail address, is the email of the whole technical coordination team. Uh, the whole team is receiving this email and the person who is uh, available for what you, you are asking will reply to it. Please use it. So this is for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Well,